Morning guys, quick one here. I wanted to get onto this yesterday, but I was a bit busy. I actually said, oh, let's do a live about um, sponsorship and then customers walked in and we just go, go, go all day. So I've talked a bit about kids wanting sponsorship and mountain bikers wanting sponsorship and people who race wanting sponsorship. And the whole point of that to me was the person who wants sponsorship from the business has to create value for the business. Let's see if we can get some better lighting going on here. You can't, expect, you can't just expect a business person to give you free stuff because you ask for it, because you think you deserve it. It's a transaction. If a business person is seeing money going out, it's a spend, especially for racing sponsorship. We wanna see some ROI on that, return on investment. So you need to demonstrate how the amount of money we're gonna spend on you is gonna multiply in sales for us. Another sponsorship we get asked for quite a lot is sponsorship for charity rides. And I just wanted to briefly touch on that because this might be a little bit controversial and it might upset a few little people, but geez, the lighting in here is awesome. They're laughing at me because I'm live in the cafe there. But here's the way, when somebody asks me for sponsorship for a charity ride, here's sort of what happens. They come in and go, how can I speak to the manager? And it gets handballed to, you know, chasing on myself. And they, okay, what are you doing? Well, I'm um, doing the great Victorian bike ride. Okay. And I want sponsorship. It's like, okay. And, oh, it's for a charity, sure. What charity? You know, Cancer Council or something else, which is, you know, a fantastic, valid charity. And then we sort of sit back and go, why? Like, somebody's doing, you know, these sorts of rides that the people are doing for charity are normally our idea of a holiday. And, like, we get people asking us for free bikes and free gear and... Um, very, very, very rarely do we get asked for a donation to the charity. People doing these rides for charity want, you know, money and equipment for themselves to do the ride. And this is something this doesn't, I'm just trying to work through this live here with you, but it doesn't compute to me because these sorts of rides are people's holidays. You know, people put in leave and pay to go on these rides because they're so enjoyable. And yeah, we've all got different levels of fitness and it might be tougher for you than it would be for somebody else. But... I just don't quite, I can't quite wrap my head around why we should be paying for people to go do these fun rides. It's like they whack the sticker of charity on top of it and they want me to pay for them. And I'm, I'm thinking, if they were really serious about raising money for this charity, and we can tell, like when somebody comes in and they want money for charity for a ride, or they like want money for a charity that means something to them, we can suss it out straight away. People. Uh, just subconsciously put out this different energy and they, they communicate differently whether they really care about this charity or whether they don't. And so if, if they want a free bike and some free kit because they're doing the great Victorian bike ride for cancer, it's like, nah, you're not in it for the charity. And if you are, you don't want a pretty half assed attempt at it, generally speaking. <clears throat> and I just don't think that it's, it's a valid, like why should I spend my hard earned money and my business's cash flow on that one, I could give it straight to the charity myself. What we want to see if is, is if you're going to do a charity ride, I'll give you a, um, an example. A few years ago, a bunch of local businessmen, who was it? It was um, Andy Kay with Hugh Satchel, Tom Barry and uh, Mr. Wild got together and did this big charity ride for Watts M&D. You know, they had a good time. They didn't ask for any um, bicycles. They didn't ask for equipment. They didn't ask for nutrition. They didn't ask for anything. They came in and we supported them. They didn't ask for any of that. They said, we're gonna go and in like four days or something, they rode something crazy, like 13 or 1400 kilometers. And they really hurt themselves. Like one of, some of these guys had issues walking, they were losing toenails. They had all these health concerns afterwards. It sort of makes it a bit more fun. Like it's a bit more interesting, but they rose a lot of money because they, they weren't asking for personal assistance because here, here's sort of what I'm getting at. I'm just trying to piece it together on going live. You need a sacrifice. Going on the Great Victorian Bike Ride isn't a sacrifice, it's fun. If you wanna raise money for a charity and you're asking people to get on board, we wanna see you sacrificing, we wanna see you hurt and suffer for this. Otherwise, if you actually care about this charity and doing a really poor job fundraising, you know what you should do? Don't take two weeks annual leave, just work two weeks at your job and give that money to charity. Or take two weeks annual leave, get a job elsewhere and make 2,000 bucks and then give that to charity. You know, I just don't think, we just, I guess it gets to a boiling point every now and then. There's just a lot in here, it's just insane. We get asked every day for, for, for sponsorship, 
and for donations for charity. And we used to have a yes policy in the business up until probably this year. And now our policy was if we got asked for a donation um, for, a, for a local charity or for whoever came through the door, it was yes. It was very rarely cash. We don't deal in a lot of um, money donations, but it's, it's products for raffles or support and stuff. And it was just yes, yes, yes. The problem um, with that, although we loved being generous, is we got a reputation for being yes. And we just started getting these insane requests, sort of like well, I'm doing the Great Victorian Bike Ride, can I have a bike because it's for charity. So I guess what I'm trying to get to is if it's not actually for the charity, if you're just after a bit of aid and you're slapping a, a sticker on something, don't bother. You're wasting everybody's time. Take, put your leave in, take your holiday and go and enjoy yourself riding the bike. And if it is for charity, get excited, put yourself in the locker, really challenge yourself with the event you want to do, really hurt yourself and figure out the best way that you can generate massive ROI for that event. Don't just try to get a free pair of Nicks. Think up a way that you can create value. People come in all the time and I brainstorm with this sort of stuff about them and I spitball stuff that I think will create them value and they get scared and they go away, they never come back again. If you're serious about a charity and you want to do a cycling event to raise real money and awareness, come and see me and I'll give you ideas so big it'll scare you. But are you serious about raising money or do you just want a free bike for a ride? Come on guys, get real. Love it. Have a good day, Aubrey. Weather's turning it on. See you soon.